First Peter 1 Peter 1.13, which is where we were last time, where in the middle of the verse, fix your hope. That's a command. Fix your hope. Set your hope completely. Pretty strong language. Set your hope completely. Don't put your hope in anything in this world. If you have hope in this life only, you're most, of all men most miserable. This is not where you want to put your hope. Fix your hope completely on the grace to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Upon the appearing of Jesus Christ, or your meeting him when you have died, when he is fully disclosed to you in the next world, you will at that point be given the greatest gift of grace, and that is eternal perfection in heaven. So fix your hope completely on that future grace. That grace that is to be brought to you when you enter into the presence of the Lord. Future grace, you can call it final grace. And we pointed out last time that it's grace. It's just as much grace as your justification was grace, as your conversion was grace, as your redemption and your regeneration were acts of God's grace. It's just as much grace as your sanctification is grace, as God continues to shape you through the Spirit of God into the image of His Son, Jesus Christ, even though you're sinful. It is His grace that does that. And your future glorification is the greatest and consummate act of grace. Now you notice it says it is being brought, present tense. It's in the process of coming about. It's in the process of coming about. One way to look at that is that in John chapter 14, we hear the words of our Lord Jesus as he was preparing to leave this world when he said to his disciples, in my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And so Jesus is saying, I'm leaving this world to get the place ready for you to come. God is in the process of getting heaven ready for every individual believer. That is, in a sense, another way to view the grace that is being brought to you, present tense. God is working that plan out even now, preparing you for your final grace and preparing heaven for that final grace when you arrive. This 